is the news leader. ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Bill. People are finding their own ways on how to come to terms with the terrorist attack. Jeff Rawson went out to talk with some residents and find one man, and found one man, is using the power of a paintbrush to help him grieve. Walk around Lower Manhattan, you'll see them. The guy writing God bless in the dust. The woman selling World Trade t-shirts. Beyond belief. I'm beyond belief. I've never seen anything like it. But to us, one man stuck out, minding his own business on the corner, Broadway and John. I'm doing this more or less because I can. Steve Stoller is a street painter, and this is his subject. Sure, he could grab his camera and just take a picture like everyone else, but Steve isn't like everyone else. I'm a painter. I'm an artist. It's very, I've sacrificed my whole life to represent my time. Steve has been painting his whole life. It's his livelihood. It's how he pays his rent. It's how he supports his family. But this painting isn't for sale. I mean, to be a martyr, I'm, I'm a family man. Family man. I'll do what I have to do. This will be the first time, the first time in his life, Steve won't sell. Doesn't sound like much, but like he says, who knows where the next dollar will come from. A man who lives sale to sale, making a sacrifice. Such a tribute, when the police tried to move him, well, watch. Unusual situation at the moment, and we have yeah, to clean, a bad, you know, this is a bad time right now. Right? Hey, I'm on my way. Thank you. I'm going to take my work today. Minutes later, they had a change of heart. Let Steve stay. This is, after all, his most important work yet. I'm just doing my work, just like everyone else, as best I can. Jeff Ross and ABC7 Eyewitness News.